Coming up next is Media News number 169. It's an all-genre edition of Media News. We're going to talk about remake of The Day of the Triffids, a brand new Ouija movie coming out. It'll be have a dirt cheap budget. We're also going to talk about The Rock, not once, not twice, but three times. We got three Dwayne The Rock Johnson stories, and we're going to talk about the return of Terra Nova. That's right. You heard it right, Terra Nova. All that and more coming right up. Irrelevant, irreverent. I always get those two confused. These two are the reason why. Here's Comic Book Man and JR with Media News. This country needs more focus. I suggest Universal Foot Massage. <laughs> Media News, episode 169 The Bourbon Defense. They're all blocks of wood. That's right. <laughs> yeah, don't you know that? <laughs> Are you going to fart? What's happening? What's happening? He's waiting for something. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video on house. It's time for... Slice the tension with a knife. Media news. <laughs> media news. And media news is coming here from this place, Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount You don't have Greenwood. to say that every week because it's always going to be every at 100. Week. More car crashes well, per capita well, than anywhere yeah, else yeah. in the entire city of Chicago. Depends on, it depends on what my next lease says. <laughs> more drinking than anywhere in the universe. <laughs> Alternate Reality, where all my new comics are always 15% off every day for everyone. Oh, drink in Southside Irish Parade is this weekend. Mm. Oh. Looking forward to that. Is it really? Looking so is the time change, by the way, for those Yes. Of you. Yes, of course, by the time you see this, you'll go, that was a month ago. What the hell? <laughs> Western West becomes a river of vomit. Yeah, river of vomit's coming. <laughs> uh, we're leading off media news this time with all the rock all the yes. time. That's right. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, if you're a wrestling fan, you know that he is the headliner with John Cena at WrestleMania this year, WrestleMania 27, 28. Anyway, he's the headliner with uh, John Cena, but... Rock, we, of course, has this wonderful film career. Yes, and we have a chunk of rock. We've got the not eyebrow, one, JR. not two, but three. Do the eyebrow, JR. We, we, Thank you. We have <laughs> three lumps of rock just for you. Can you smell <laughs> what JR is cooking? Uh, you smell most of rock's movies. That's yeah. enough of that. I smell most of rock's movies. Uh, first up. <laughs> First up, off, you saw that wonderful sequel to, Mis to Journey to the Center of the Earth. Yes. Journey, Journey to, to the, mysterious, <laughs> the Mysterious Island. You fell in love with it instantly like all the rest of us did. The peck pop of love. The who? You, the peck pop of love. If you saw it, you know what I'm talking about. I can't about. do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> he pops it with something else. Yeah. What about Journey 2, The Mysterious it? Island? Well, it's hugely successful, comic uh, book man. So far, the film has pulled in I worldwide. I smell. World, yes, you do. You smell what the, the rock, rock is cooking. Is cooking. Three hundred million dollars worldwide as all? we speak. Well, for a movie that costs like a million dollars to make, yeah. that's a lot of money. So New, New Line Cinema is New moving. Line a, New Line <laughs> Cinema yes. is moving ahead with a third film, Journey Three. No subtitle yet. We have we have to find some Earth's other. At the core. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Some other jewels. Mysterious Uh the Well, actually, that would be Burroughs at the Earth's core. But, uh, um, First Men to the Moon. There you go. First Men to the Moon. Journey oh, yeah. 3, First Men on the Moon. The moon. Underwater, it yeah. will not have the guy from the first movie, most likely. It's going to have The Rock because the uh, second film. Atlantis. Atlantis. Uh, yeah, Atlantis. We could do an Atlantis film next. Underwater well, Atlantis. they, they shit can the entire cast from the first film for the second one, didn't they? Yes, they did. Okay. Yes, they did. The second film had nothing to do with the first one outside of the title. Journey, two, Journey 2's director, Brad Payton, and the same screenwriters will be writing Journey 3, which tells me The Rock is probably going to be in this thing at some point or another. Yeah. Uh, they've all closed deals to return it's being fast tracked this film it's being fast tracked it will be in theaters tomorrow in a, <laughs> by next week so start standing in line no when they say fast track they mean two years two so 2014 years. okay 2014 so look, you've got that to look forward to. More eyebrow arching, <laughs> peck popping. The last reason to live. Whether yeah. he wins or loses at WrestleMania, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has penned for two more movies. Both of them are comic book related. Yeah, one of them I never even heard of. Yeah, right. The first one, the first one we're going to cover is a, from a graphic novel called See You Dad. See You Dad by Joe and Anthony Russo. No idea what it is, you comic fans. And out it's there. in 3D. Wow, I'm sure it is. So Journey <laughs> no, it's Three. Not. Well, Journey Three is probably going to be in 3D because yeah, Journey probably. Two was. Anyway, anyway, See You Dad. See You Dad. Uh, he plays a mercenary hired by a Bra well, what a Brazilian uh, drug lord. Say that five times oh, real okay. fast to rescue his kidnapped daughter. This sounds very familiar to me. You know, you're hired to. He he, he actually one of Rock's first movies was a lot like that. He he played a guy who gets hired. He's a chef. I forget the name of Rundown. Yes, Rundown. which is he, actually a decent film. He, he, he played a chef who got hired by a mob guy to go and get his son. I think it was. Yeah, say was, no more. The Rock is uh, a chef. Let's Scott, just ride uh, with that. Let's go with that. I want to see a movie based he, about that. Anyway, Scott, you did. It's called Rundown. <laughs> well, they, they got away from. I want to see him cooking. Can he get his own cooking show? The Rock's cooking. Can he, you smell what the Rock is cooking? He cooked in cooking? that movie. He cooked God, in that movie. This goes like a hand in a cloth. 
Anyway, See You, Dad, based on the graphic novel by Anthony Russo, who's writing the screenplay for the film as well. Uh, if you know what it is, God bless you, I've never heard of it. Neither has Comic Book Man. No, I haven't. I'm not I'm not sure what this is. I, I haven't heard of it. It's it's probably something. It wasn't a comic. It was a trade It was paperback. a graphic novel. Which, yeah. for Comic Book Man, should be exactly the same thing, except they're more pricey, and I can't afford no, it. No, no, nobody wants that. But, uh, but what you have heard of, I'm sure, yes, is, is this Hercules, the Thracian War. That's right. Here's your prop. Hercules is getting ready to go off for Halloween. And that's the rock. In his Wizard of Oz outfit. That's the rock right there. That's the rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson is playing the title role. Radical Comics. Radical Comics. Hercules to be directed by Brett Ratner. Oh, it'll be wonderful. Yes, it will have the stench of death <laughs> all about it. Uh, yeah! <laughs> that is our rock hunk, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Hercules. This is the way Hercules is supposed to look anyways, right? That's well, I mean, in, in Greek mythology, yeah. he The lion is was one of uh, his seven trials, I believe. Well, there you go. 12 so trials the rock is going to be sporting... A lion mane. A lion head. Well, maybe that just because it's in there doesn't mean it'll be in the movie. No. I have heard. I have heard that sometimes movies change the comics a little. Bit. Not at all. Not at all. So you never can tell. You come never on, can tell. Lone Ranger wearing black. Ooh, hanging around with comic book man. Yeah. Come now, on, now get, down those paths. getting back so, to some real news. Yes. Ne next. Net. <laughs> easy, easy for you to say. <laughs> Netflix, Netflix is already doing well, it with what? They're doing. What? <laughs> <laughs> they're. Do I don't want to know. Probably Apple. Uh, but yeah. Netflix, as you all know, has been having some hard times recently. They, yes. they, everybody kind of bailed out for a while. Yeah, I heard they like tripled their rates or something. Well, it's like, yeah, they, these they people won't buy them. They actually have recovered. It's they not, have recovered a little yeah. bit. And one of the things they're doing is actually getting into the There's original no programming uh, uh, line of things. They're bringing back Arrested Development. That's okay. one show they're bringing back, which people love, which will dovetail into a feature film. They are also now in talks to do Terra Nova, but you're saying, wait, Terra Nova's on Fox. Not no, anymore. It got canceled. it got canned. But that was pricey. Was Very pricey. pricey. Now here's the thing. That's a 20th Century Fox made show. That show sells very well internationally. So they can make the money back on this thing through an international audience. Is it enough for licensing and all that through Netflix to be able to afford to do the series we'll and make see. some money? We shall we'll see. see. But for you Terra Nova fans. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Yep. It They're going to have to crunch the numbers. Yeah. We're going to have to crunch the numbers, and then we'll get back to you, and we'll see we what we can do about it. We'll crunch some numbers. Imagine programming by uh, passing uh, Netflix uh, TV <laughs> altogether. <laughs> Luther! The BBC had a TV series called Luther, which everybody raved about. I never watched. I never watched it. But everybody raved about Luther. It was dirty and gritty. It was it was dirty and gritty yeah, and had a, Luther and Luther was a black police detective or African American but since yes. he's British I guess he wouldn't be African American would he because he wouldn't be American He'd be, be African, the African British African I guess yes. or African yeah. American. anyway Neil what's Cross, up with Luther who created the series Luther for the BBC has been hired to pen a new adaption of the science fiction classic Day of the Triffids. Oh, that's good. That's good. Of course, this might suck, but the original was a bad day for humans. Based on John Wyndham's novel from many, many, many years ago. This would be a feature film, by the way, not a TV series. Uh, day of the Triffids has gone through a lot of incarnations. It was a feature film in the 60s, not a bad one, a decent one. It was a mini series in the 80s, yeah. uh, which was interesting because there were three books in the series. The BBC did book one as a mini series, book two as a mini series, and then promptly canceled the rest of it. You're not so, thinking of tripods, are you? Uh, was it tripods? I, I thought that was the I think you might be tripod. thinking of tripods. My mistake. Tri well, tripods went three seasons. They didn't get to a third season, I don't You're think. correct. But there was a Day of the Triffids miniseries okay. in the 80s. Okay. They also did, I wasn't even aware of this, uh, in 2010, the BBC did a miniseries of Day of the Triffids, oh. which everyone hated. Oh, okay. Hated. So right now, the only one that really has any cachet to it is the one from the 60s. But it's coming back. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's sort of a... War of the Worlds S. Uh, it's about plants that uh, take over from space that take yep. over a small lighthouse island. Well, community. there's a meteorite shower that yeah. precedes it, and everyone goes blind. Everyone that sees it, which is yeah. like ninety percent of the planet, is rendered blind, which allows the triffids to come in and take over. Yeah, everything. and they're and they all are plants. They're, they're plant plants, plants with poisonous they're, whip stinger they're, thingies. They're big, tall plants. Yeah, they got whip stinger. Thingies. And actually, it's much better than we're making it sound. It really is. It's good. It, it actually, and the book is really good too. I haven't read it in years and years and years, but uh, that's one. It's still in print. We'll look for that. It's. Hey, really Jr. I got one for you. Choose one now. Day of the Triffids. Yeah. Night of the Comet. Oh, Day of the Triffids comic book, man. No Night of the Comet. But Night of the Comet's got valley girls with guns. Yeah, how to how, much hotter chicks. Come on. Yeah, well, that was in the 80s. How hot are they now? What have you done for me lately, yeah, comic book well, man? Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> Day of the Troops in black and white. Is it? Our last story. Our last story. Oh, we have talked wow. before ad nauseum oh, about favorite things. board games being turned into movies, and we got... Uh, well, we, we have we Battleship got, coming soon. We got one of the great ones. We yes. got one of the great board games that's just going to be turned into a movie. The motion picture, we actually talked about this not yes. too long ago. Ouija. 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 Or Ouija. Well, yes. Universal had the rights to this thing. They had... <laughs> this was yeah. crazy. A Ouija movie that had a budget of $150 million. Okay. What they were going to do with $150 million outside of make a Lone Ranger movie, I don't know, Comic Book Man. Uh, it needs, you need $250 million that's, to make a that Lone is Ranger correct, movie but, but, You can't make one for less than $250 million. Michael Bay, <laughs> You've got to build all those Duffalo by hand. I just said the magic words. Michael Bay yes. is producing the Ouija movie. <laughs> exactly. McGee was attached to direct it. He is no longer attached because they've scuttled the $150 million budget. The budget has been pared back to, are you sitting? Five million. Five. <laughs> five. You can't buy a Ouija board for that. Five life. million dollars. It's a very bare bones story. It sounds now. like it. Players communicating with the spirit world. What more do you need? Five million dollars. What's gonna be five? What's gonna be plenty. five TV actors sitting around a table talking to the ceiling? <laughs> now the beauty part of this. Tell is, me, Ouija. Remember when will I die? The beauty part of this is remember how we talked about Journey Three is fast tracked yeah. for 2014. Yeah. This bad boy's coming out next year, 2013. No. So we are cranking this puppy out. And before you know it, you're going to be watching Ouija in 3D. Oh, be a $5 great. million dollar Ouija. And I hope, and I hope, like Battleship, it has spinning wizard balls in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're going to be seeing it in 3D, Ow. then... Oh. <laughs> we're out of here! That's right, we're done, we're finished, right here. We got no more... Oh, there, go, there, goes, there but goes your bumper. You go to the store's website and check out all of the media news that Bo sends me and hits this man's reviews. And where's <laughs> yeah. the store's website at? It's right there! Right there! When was this ever funny? www.myhousenetreality.com So stop off at the store's website, check out all his reviews, all Bo's news. Till next time, this is Comic Book Man. And it's 3DJR saying... Bye! <laughs> Alternate reality now opens at 10.30 instead of 11 on Sundays. It's in half an hour sleep over this. And so you guys better show up. The video outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them. <laughs>